Throughout this first week and through the semester, you will find on the announcement board a number of videos posted that will help you navigate through the course. This first video is to help you find your way as you begin this course. Each semester will change as far as course uh, syllabus and due dates. However, the fact will always remain that you will immediately, when you log into the course, be taken to the announcement area. Here, announcements will be posted. You will receive those announcements to your campus email address. Whatever address you used, which is your RCCD campus email address, is where you will receive notifications. You will never receive a notification to other email addresses, so make sure that you have that saved to your phone so that you can get a notifier each time an announcement is posted. To navigate the course, we want to use two areas. The Start Here menu, let's start there together. I'm in the Start Here menu and as I scroll down and follow these activities that are noticed, I see that the course syllabus is included. Each semester, of course, the syllabus will change, but the format of the syllabus will remain the same. I open the syllabus and I scroll down and one of the things that I see as I study this syllabus information is information regarding turning in assignments. No matter what the assignment, whether it's an essay, a scavenger hunt, basic skills, no matter what the assignment is, the format will always be the same and that will include on the left name, course information, date, and the word count. That will always be the case. I keep scrolling down, I see the tentative schedule, noting that some of these dates may change slightly, in which case you will receive an announcement immediately telling you what the date change is. Here is a calendar that is a sample for 15 weeks. Sometimes this changes again depending upon the number of weeks in the course. Do you see the due dates here? These due dates indicate the items that are due. It may be an assignment that is due, it may be a discussion board content that is due. The information regarding the assignment is listed on this column. The due dates are listed here. So for example, I see that a basic skills writing assignment is due in week two. When I come back to the left menu bar, I see that I need to find week two in order to process that basic skills writing assignment. So I go to weekly activities and I know that each semester the number of weeks will change depending upon how long that semester is. But in this case, in this example, we see that the basic skills assignment is due in week two. So I'm going to click the week two folder. When that folder opens, I see that same calendar for that week listed at the top of the page. And as I scroll down, I see the basic skills writing assignment is to be submitted here. I will always throughout the course look for those magic words, submit here, and know that I literally click those words to upload the Word document that I have saved to my file. I see in addition that there is a document to be opened that explains more about the writing skills assignment. There's even a video tutorial that I can watch. I see the requirements for that essay, that coursework, located here. When I have finished that assignment, I can look at the essay 1 and kind of get a feel for what's coming forth in the essay 1 assignment. Now I'm going to go back to the course menu again and the due dates. As another example, I see on the due dates that essay 1 is due in week 4. I notice also that some discussion boards are due in week four. Let's look at that together. First, I open weekly activities and I go to week four. See where more information is posted regarding essay number one. I can access NetTutor and get some help making sure that the assignment is well written. I even have a little tutorial video and I look for those magic words, submit here to submit my essay. Now let's look over at the discussion board. These boards are listed 
numbered, and the requirements are written for submission. Look forward to the next video tutorials forthcoming in the course.